So we identified the trees at that point. Um, we can then assign species uh, using the algorithm that we have and, and the, field, the field data that's been collected. Um, so we can look spatially across that block at the distribution of species. Uh, we can then predict diameter, as I've described, and then you can theme on diameter and look at how that uh, is dispersed across the block. And then ultimately, you've got a volume per tree. Um, and you'll see that this volume per tree is, is fairly heavily, heavily correlated with the height, if I really just flip back to the cavity height model. Height and diameter are obviously the single biggest drivers of, of, of volume. So um, when you look at that plot, with that block, um, those